Frog history once upon a time. In a secluded pond in the middle of the forest, two very special frogs lived, blue and orange. These frogs were not like the other frogs in the pond. They dreamed of growing up and exploring the world outside their little pond, but there was a problem. They didn't know how to grow up. Blue and Orange often talked about their dreams. They sat on the shore of the pond and watched the dragonflies gliding across the water and the birds circling high up in the sky. How can we grow up? Asked Blue. It seems so hard. Orange sighed and nodded. Yes, but I think we have to do something special to grow up. Something that the other frogs don't do. So Blue and Orange decided to find out what this something special could be. They started exploring the pond and trying new things. They climbed on lily pads, jumped higher than ever before, and even tried to catch small insects. But no matter what they tried, it didn't seem to work. The other frogs in the pond laughed at them, calling them the strange frogs. Blue and orange, however, were not discouraged. They knew they were different and that they were special. One day they discovered an old, wise turtle on the bank of the pond. They told her about their desire to grow up and asked for advice. The turtle smiled and said to grow up. You have to find your own ways. This does not mean that you have to be like the other frogs. Just be yourself and follow your heart. Blue and Orange thanked the turtle and returned to the pond, full of new hope. They decided to stop caring what the other frogs were thinking. They began to enjoy life and do what they enjoyed. Over time, Blue and Orange began to notice that they were changing. They became stronger, wiser, and bolder. And one day, as they sat on the shore of the pond watching the sunset, they suddenly felt a change in themselves. They felt more grown up than ever before. Blue smiled at Orange and said, I think we've finally grown up. Orange nodded in agreement. They had learned that. True adulthood doesn't depend on how high you can jump or how many insects you catch, but on who you are inside. And so Blue and Orange lived happily ever after in the pond knowing that they had found their own way to grow up a path that wasn't easy at all, but full of adventure and discovery.